Alright guys, we're going to be doing Premier League stadiums ranked. If you want to see Championship League 1, League 2, let us know. This is going to be based off not like capacity or anything like that. It's just genuinely personal opinion. Uh, however, there are some that I don't think are up for debate. Uh, like certain stadiums you can like, like even if you don't like the club, you can just see it. They are unbelievable. Um, but yeah, before we get into things, please like, subscribe, comment, whatever it may be. It really does help us out and I appreciate all the support as of recent. And ignore this horrible headset. I need to be able to hear Dom. Who's, he's that way. I can All right, whichever way he is, uh, he's finally made an appearance. Uh, he's back from his little holiday in Greece, uh, which I'm a bit silly about, but oh well. Um, so yeah, just please turn on post notifications and all. It really does help us out. And we'll start with Dom with 20th. Yeah, I'm going with the Vitality Stadium. It's tiny. It's like a League Two stadium in the Prem, and there's just an, always an awful atmosphere. Like I'm not a fan at all. Alright, my 20th is also the Vitality. It's disgusting. 10,000 seats or something stupid like that. It looks like a massive shed. So sadly to Bournemouth fans, you have got the worst stadium in the Prem and you are also going down, finishing 20th in my opinion. So I do apologise, uh, the Cherries, but not a particularly good club in my opinion. Uh, we'll go 19th. I've got Brentford Community Stadium. I think it's uh, it's horrible. It looks so like too modern, like futuristic. But like, it's even if you like that style, you can't deny it's ugly. The colours are ugly. It's got a really, really small. Like, it's like seventeen thousand or something, and I don't even know if they can fill it. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, the shape, the size, and the look of it, it just isn't a nice stadium. Dom, what have you got in nineteenth? Yeah, I've gone with London Stadium. It looks great. They've got that massive tower thing outside, which is good. But like. Just how far away the stands are from the pitch and it's awful from the inside. Gives it an awful atmosphere and yeah. Alright. I don't like Alright, I've gone eighteenth, I've gone London Stadium as well. Uh for me I don't even think it looks good. Like it's just a massive ball. Um and yeah, it's about like if you wanted it like any strikers wanted to get on that pitch, they'd have a good five minute run before they reach it. It's it's not great like I, I I'm not a big fan. Atmosphere doesn't go round the ground. Yeah, it's just it's just not nice. But it is massive, so I guess they've got that for uh, a bonus. But it's just not nice. All right, Dom, you think? Yeah, I've gone with Brentford Community Stadium. It's small. It doesn't look great. And I mean, there's never really a good atmosphere there. The only thing going for it is that it is new wood. I don't even necessarily like it just because of that. So, alright, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Right, well, we've basically got the C in bottom three. So, 17th, uh, this might upset a few people, but I've gone with the King Power. It's it's really ugly. And I might as well see me 16th. It's St. Mary's. Them are basically the same stadium, just different colours. They're both just average size balls. I think 30,000 seats, something like that. Um, yeah, they're not great. They're too modern. It's just a massive ball. Not really going on with it. Um, so, yeah, just very average, but like. I'd say quite below average stadiums for Prem level. All right, Dom, 17th and 16th. I've, I've gone with the Amex in 17th. It's just, there's just no going for it really. It's got like one stand bigger than the rest, I think, as well. It's like three tiers and the rest got one. And it's just, it, it's, I think it's quite modern, but it just doesn't look good at all. And then for 16th, I've gone with St. Mary's. Same reason as the Ocean Forum. Look, it's just a ball. It's got like average capacity, it's just average season, just a lot worse than the rest. Right, yeah, I agree. 15th, I've gone with the Amex, uh, basically the same reasons. I just think it's a really ugly stadium, I'm not going to lie. But like 15th and onwards, like all these stadiums are pretty decent. I'd say Amex is the the last of the bad bunch of stadiums. I think everything above this for me is pretty decent stadium. I just think some are better than others. So yeah, Dom, 15th. What have I gone for? Yeah, I've gone with the Power as well. It's just pretty much the same as St Mary's, it's just not got nothing going for it, like it's very boring, average atmosphere, it's just worse than the rest of them really. Right, okay, well this is where it's gonna, I think we're all gonna disagree, 14th day I've gone with the Molyneux, now I actually like the stadium, I just think it's got massive gaps in it and it's also just a bit ugly in part, but realistically I like all of these stadiums above, but 14th I've gone with the Molyneux, Dom? Yeah, you're gonna have to be happy with this one, but I've gone with Sellers, it's just it's a good stadium, but it's just not as good as the rest. There's obviously an unreal atmosphere, but that's not the stadiums. That's not because of the stadium, it's just the fans. I mean, it, it's it's relatively old and traditional, which is good, but it's just not as good as the rest of them, really. No, I 100% uh, disagree. You're not 
uh, you're not going to be happy where I've put Sellers Park. Uh, it's quite far up there. But uh, 13th, uh, this one, I've gone with the Emirates. It's a horrible stadium. I don't care what people say. It's like, it's just a massive ball. Like, it's it's not nice. It's very modern. I'll give them that. And like, they have tellies. It's quite nice. Um, like, in the grass, like, in the stands, there was tellies. And I thought that was a nice touch. But other than that, like, it's a massive ball. I, I don't like it. I think it's ugly, to be honest. Uh, Dom, 13th. Yeah, I've got with Craven Cottage. I actually really like this one. It's just really small. It's like a very nice traditional stadium. There's nothing wrong with it other than it is probably just made like a refurbishing or something, but I quite like it, even though it is very old and small. It's just nice and traditional. It's got that clock in one of its hands, which looks good. Yeah. Right, that I agree actually, but in 12th I've actually come with the Etihad. Um, I really don't like the Etihad. I know this seems like I'm just chipping all the big teams, but I promise I have put some big teams up there. I just don't like. Yes, it's like a nice stadium and it is very modern and it's got good facilities and whatever it may be. But for me, it is at the end of the day a big ball, um, and I don't particularly like them. However, twelfth place is not too bad. Like there is very very good stadiums in the Prem. So yeah, it's not awful. I just don't particularly like it. And then Don, what have we got with eleventh? Uh, well, oh, 12. Uh, 12 has been uh, I've gone the Molyneux. I quite like it actually, it's just everything after 12 is like top, like some of the best teams in the world. So if this was in like another league, I'd probably have a closer to top five or something. I just really like the design and stuff, and uh, always seems to be a decent atmosphere there as well. Right, fair enough. Uh, 11th, I've gone with Creven Cottage. Uh, I, I really, I think this is, in my opinion, if it was like B stuff, just solely like, and say whatever I want, which I can realistically, but I would have gone with first. <laughs> I love it so much, but I, that is, uh, yeah, it's not true though, is it? It's very small. Uh, it also is being like redeveloped, so like, it looks a bit ugly on the outside. I think the scaffolding and stuff that's going on, but it, to be honest, I really do like it. I think it's so like, like the outside, it looks like just like a terrace house. Like the inside, it's got that thing above the one of the main stand. It, it's just an unbelievable stadium, but it is quite small. Um, but yeah, Dom eleventh. Uh, Stamford Bridge, relatively nice. I just feel like it. They need a new one, really, for the they, they sell out every week. I think so they do need a bigger stadium, and I think they are developing one. But I think that I think it just looks average, but it's got a really good history of it and stuff. So I'd give it just sort of a decent rating. Like. Right, I, I disagree with that, like, a lot. I, I, I think they shouldn't move from uh, Stamford Bridge, mate. I love that stadium. But anyway, 10th, Selhurst Park. Wait, have I got 10th? Sell yeah, 10th, Selhurst Park. I wish I could put it higher, um, but I'm really thinking it. I think I had it, like, 6th, which I know isn't great. But, um, yeah, 10th is Selhurst Park. In my opinion, it's the best stadium in the world. I love it so much. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what about it, though. I can't explain it. It's small. To be honest, it's the stands are uneven, but like I just love looking at it. It's unbelievable. However, I think that is down to the atmosphere more than the actual stadium. So actual stadium is going in tenth. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. Don't get us wrong. All right, dumb tenth. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've gone what I've gone uh, tenth and failed. I mean, Pale probably think it should be in like the top three, but I'm not the biggest fan. I think the new the newer stands that they've added more recently are just big and clunky. Like I just don't like the look of it. And the atmosphere in there is only really good on big games or the Champions League. It's just been like the normal game. It's bright and it's usually just, you know, you'll never walk with little merchants. It's decent. I'd like to put it low, but I do. I am aware that it is a very big new stadium. It is good. Right. Well, in ninth, I have gone with Anfield. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, exactly the same reason. It's, it's, it's not a nice stadium, I don't think, personally. It's got... The only saving grace it has is the cop. That one stand makes up for it. Like it's a very nice stand. Like I love a good cop. Uh, Hillsborough, Anfield. They look unbelievable. Notts County as well. But um, yeah, no, it's an it's a nice stadium just because of that. But everything else in that stadium is ugly. The way they've redeveloped it just makes it look like three separate stands from completely different stadiums. It just doesn't look nice. Um, yeah, so. I just don't like it. But yeah, Dom, ninth. Yeah, I've gone with uh, the City Ground, Nottingham Forest. It uh, hasn't been in the Prem for a, what, a long time, but I don't know what it is about it. It's just, it, it's just an okay looking stadium, really, but it just 
teams have a great atmosphere and a great soul around it and stuff, which is probably all helped with the fans and stuff, but like, I still do really like it. It's just nothing fancy, but still looks nice and I'm quite a fan of it to be fair. Right, fair enough. Uh, I've gone with Eath, the city ground as well. I love it, to be honest. I think it's a very nice stadium. Um, I would have put it higher, but like capacity wise, it's not that big. Um, but yeah, it is a very nice stadium. It's not really too much fancy. I just think it's better than the ones I've put below it, but it's not as good as the ones I've put above. So, Dom, what have we gone for Eath? Uh, St James's Park. I'd love to put this a lot lower, but everyone would just call us biased, which would, would be true. But I, I think what I don't like about it is the fact it's just got a massive stand, which is like about four times bigger than the rest of the stadium. But uh, it, do, it you know, it's it's kept like well up to date and stuff. It does look okay inside. You can get a great view of the city and stuff, and it's right in the heart of the city, which is which is good. But I personally don't like it. I couldn't put it any lower. Yeah, I've gone seven St. Juice's Park as well. I, I I don't like the stadium at all. But like from an unbiased perspective, it's nice. But that one stand is like twenty times higher than every other one. Like it's horrible to be honest. But that is very biased. Um, so I have to put it up there. But I don't have any good reasonings for it. I just I just think I'm being fair. All right, sixth on on our seventh. Uh, I've gone with the Emirates. I quite like it to be fair. I think visually, it's a. All right, the recording cut off. But yeah, Dom. Oh yeah, seventh Emirates. I think visually it's a very nice stadium. Obviously, you said it's a bit of a ball. I mean, that doesn't always mean it looks bad. From the outside, the ground was like a big pictures of like all their some of the best players from the past and stuff. And although it isn't a new, isn't an old ground, it still feels like it's been there for years. And it seems like it has a history when it really doesn't. It's, I do quite like it, and I think there's always at least a decent atmosphere there. But um, I do actually quite like it. So yeah. Seven. Fair enough. I don't like it, but you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, sixth Ellen Road. As much as people want to call it a shed, like some, uh, it is a nice stadium. You can't deny. It's quite big. It's very like historic. The atmosphere is bouncing. Like it looks nice. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think everything above it is, in my opinion, better and looks a bit more cleaner. Like it is a bit rusty. If you will, but yeah, I think it's an unbelievable stadium. Uh, as much as I don't like Leeds, all right, Dom. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've, no, I've also gone Allen Road. Uh, I very much like it, but that's not necessarily because of how it looks. It's just got a great history. The fans are always great, which has a great atmosphere every single week. And I think it just, it's just like I, I would like all stadiums to be like that, just traditional, nothing massively fancy, and just you know, good enough capacity to get close to selling out and stuff. Uh, I'm a big fan of Ellen Road, like. Right, fair enough. Uh, fifth, I've gone with Goodison Park. Um, I love this stadium. If I could put it first, I would. However, it's not that big. It is in parts like you cannot say, <laughs> you can't see the pitch, which to me does put the ranking of the stadium a little bit lower. However, it's very historic. It's like one of the best stadiums. Um, in the country and it's definitely the best stadium in Liverpool and Merseyside so uh, unlucky Anfield but yeah Goodison Park unbelievable and I love it to be honest alright Dom fifth yep I've also gone Goodison I very much love it I love it just it's all blue you know it's so Everton and stuff it's right it's like right in the middle of the housing estate and stuff which is just I very much like that always has an unreal atmosphere I know they're getting a new stadium, which they're probably doing it because I think they sell out every week and stuff, so they need a bigger one, which is going to be on the dock. It's going to be a bit of a shame to have to knock down Goodison, but you know, it probably is needed. Right, fair enough. Uh, fourth, Stamford Bridge for me. I really like Stamford Bridge. Like, I don't know what it is about it. I think to me, it's just a better Goodison, but it's got all these hotels and stuff around it in the facilities. I, I think it's unbelievable. It's very historic, yet it's modern in parts. And I think there's this myth you can't see the pitch at certain places. Like, unlike Goodison, you actually can. It's just the people hold the camera like way above their heads and stuff. And it's like, yeah, obviously, like if you're seven foot tall, you might struggle, but like, no one is going to, you know what I mean? So it's just a bit like, People have this agenda, and I think Chelsea fans don't realise how historic that ground is. Like, like you don't necessarily need a new big modern ground. It's okay to have like a forty thousand seater 
um, and maybe you sell out every week and maybe they could extend it and I know I don't think they can get planning permission so but I'm just thinking would you rather have this historic ground uh, and maybe a few thousand people lose out on seats or would you rather build this new modern probably ugly stadium um, and then you know get a few extra thousand fans like I don't know it's just what would you prefer and for me I would prefer they stayed at Stamford Bridge but anyway Dom what have yeah. you for? Oh. Um, the Etihad, I think it's a beautiful stadium. Like, obviously, it's quite modern. You would see it's a ball and stuff, but it's like there's like a massive walkway up to the Etihad, and there's not much around it. Which I don't know what it is about that, but I, I like it. The facilities and stuff around it are great. I think it's just a, like it's as close to perfect as you're gonna get for a modern stadium, without obviously being able to bring in the historic factor. It's not like you have much of that, but like still, I very much like Etihad. I was meant to go. But the game got cancelled, so I would have had a better opinion if that was the case. But yeah, very much like it. Right, yeah, not for me. Don't like the A. I think it's ugly. But uh, fair enough. Um, maybe I'm being a bit harsh on it. But third, now I I don't like this stadium at all. So the fact I've got it third is just solely off what everyone says. Um, and people are still going to call us biased or not even biased. People are still going to say I'm delusional for putting it third and not first. But third, I've got the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I think it's so ugly. It is just a massive, like it's so alien. Like it's just a massive UFO in the middle of London. I think it's horrible. Um, yeah, not for me at all. But I've just got to put it up there because realistically, it is massive and it is very modern and the facilities are unbelievable. But I just don't like the looks of it. But yeah, Dom third. Yeah, uh, I've gone with Villa Park. I think if it, if like historic factors weren't put into this, this would probably be a lot lower down the list. But even still, visually, it just looks great. It's nice and traditional. I like it. It seems to sell out close to every week. There's always a great atmosphere. And from outside the ground, I think there's like steps up for the stadium and stuff. It just it just looks great. I uh, really like it. Right, fair enough. Uh, I agree with the Villa Park shout, but I've got it in second. I think this is. Like, if this was a bit bigger, this would be the best stadium in England. It's unbelievable. Um, the outside of the stadium is so, like, Victorian. Like, it's got, like, um, the walls and the gates, and it's just unbelievable. It's a very, very, like, old yet, like, classy stadium. I love it so much. Um, but, yeah, it's it's not the best because it's not got the capacity for it. It is about, I don't know, maybe 45,000. I'm not too sure what it is, but it is... Um, relatively big for the size and it's not like they were selling out in the championship or anything like that so they definitely don't need to move um, but yeah it just isn't as big as other stadiums but still it's unbelievably looking and I think looks wise it is the best stadium in England personally um, but yeah Dom second well, second I've gone Old Trafford I'm not like a massive fan particularly but to have a stadium that big and it still have a great history and stuff you know it's hard to do even most of the stadiums that size are very modern ball like and there's always a great atmosphere and the stretch for them is quite iconic and stuff. Uh, but personally, I'm not a huge fan. I'd put a bit down, lower down, but it would be not quite a popular opinion. So I think I'd have to put it second. Right, fair enough. Second, no, first, the winner for me is obviously Old Trafford. I don't believe you put that in second. To be honest, it's the biggest stadium in England, yet it's the most the one with the most history it's seen champions leagues it's seen fa cups it's seen everything it's got every trophy under the sun it's united are the biggest club in the world and that is the best stadium in the world i think there isn't any debate it's the most historic and um, it's just unbelievable so yeah i think it goes villa park and then old trafford is miles above it in my opinion i don't even see uh, there being any competition so yeah but dom what have we got with first well i already know yeah. you've got that it has to be Tottenham Stadium. I think it's 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 incredible. It's it's close to being one of the best in the world, never mind the Prem. If historic factors weren't part of it, it probably would be top five in the world. It's like you can switch the pitch between football and NFL with like the click of a button and stuff. It, I think it looks great from the outside. It's nice and modern. It's right in the heart of like uh, North London. I think it's an incredible stadium, and they've got a one massive stand which I think looks great and stuff. There's always a good atmosphere in there. I know I have speakers and stuff, which apparently starts chance, which isn't great, but if it helps to build an atmosphere, it, it, it is what it is. And I think it's an incredible ground. Right, fair enough. That's the video. 
let us know in the comments who you agree with more, me or Dom. Uh, I think we've pretty much got the same, like, like for a few. But then there is a little bit of difference between like certain ones, like the Etihad and the Emirates, uh, which I do not read at all. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and just let us know if you disagree. Uh, I'll respond to every single one. So yeah, thanks, guys.